Hey, what's up everybody? Let's hop on here, do a quick review of what's quite possibly the most unusual phone mount I think I've ever seen. This one here is actually designed to hang off of the rear view mirror of your car, as opposed to mounting like most do on the windshield or the dash or the vent. Uh, let's get it out of the box, kind of see how this thing even functions. Okay, getting this out of the box, we've actually got three main pieces. We've got the piece that actually holds the phone itself. We've got the piece that actually mounts to the, ca the, the rear view mirror. And then we've got this arm that kind of swings everything down and, and connects the two. So first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to hook this up to the mirror. Now I can see right away, if you have a car with a mirror that has a whole bunch of sensors and lights and buttons and home links and stuff on it, this is probably not the mount for you. Uh, however, this has just a basic mirror. Uh, this Volkswagen just has a basic mirror that just has, uh, again, it's, it's, it even flips old school there. This might actually work, but uh, we're basically just going to go right across the back. Uh, let me, I might have to take two hands to get this, but I'm basically going to go across the back and then adjust this so that, uh, so that it fits. All right, so before I get this adjusted on the mirror, basically if you squeeze this, this is going to help it get over the top of your mirror. And then the uh, these here on the side, these just kind of push in individually to squish and kind of mount to your mirror once you get that once you get that set up. And then you've also got these little arms here, these little uh, these screws that allow it to adjust lengthwise to get to the longer side of the mirror. All right, so what we've done here is we've actually used that little bit there and we have this mounted to our mirror. Let's actually uh, hook the arm up. All right, so it attaches, there's a little screw here on the back that you basically kind of go into there and this will allow you to swivel when this is here, allows you to kind of adjust that there. And then that also supports this little ball down here where your mount phone's actually going to get mounted. And then we've actually attached the phone holder part itself. There's up to the little ball there. It basically just snaps right on. And then we've got this button here attached where we can adjust the length of this. Now, <laughs> this seems like a ridiculous way to mount your phone. Um, especially because there's so many simpler arms there's so many simpler solutions to doing this here. Um, and it takes all the weight off of your mirror. And then I also, I can kind of still flip this, but not, not really. Um, yeah, I don't know that I can actually recommend this particular mount. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it works. It'll hold your phone here. I mean, I've got, I've got my old phone. We can actually open this up here, I think. Yeah, I don't know, I wouldn't buy this. This seems ridiculous. It seems very, very intrusive. And then again, if you move your mirror, if you move your phone, yeah, um, go go check out my store and go, uh, go look at another phone mount because I don't, I would never buy this. This blocks my vision, this is not that great. So yeah, go check out my store and uh, go look at something else that I've reviewed. I've recommended other road, road, uh, phone mounts I can't recommend this one. Hey, real quick, if you like what you see in this video and you want to purchase one for yourself, I've left links to everything here in the description. And if you want more no-nonsense, no BS product reviews, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the, uh, hit the bell so you don't miss one.